yesterday afternoon mass at a local church seems no different than any other until a man came barging through the door yelling going straight at the altar. With a situation like this, it was diffused peacefully, but it did bring up the conversation if security is now needed in places of worship. Jen Selig shows us more. Father Joe Salerno says he didn't realize what was going on until a man was at his altar yelling and washing his face with the baptismal font. I heard a very loud voice uh, emanating from the church proper and I thought someone had fallen and possibly gotten hurt. The 62-year-old Utica man, Harry Brown, was charged with disrupting a religious service. None of us knew who he was. We w weren't sure what, he, what was really bothering him. All we could see is that his actions were possibly going to become physical or violent. And that's when I noticed that he also had, you know, a, a small backpack on, uh, around his waist. You know, that could it be an explosive device? Could it be a weapon, a gun, a knife? I really was not sure. Father Joe is now working with the Utica Police Department to see what's the next step to prevent a situation like this from happening again. We're exploring all options. Uh, would I like us to have a security guard at all of our doors, being a church? No, but if that's what we have to do, the church is currently in the process of looking for volunteers to act as security or using their ushers as security during their masses. If any of our officers are off duty and they happen to be present uh, when something um, occurs, uh, we would expect our officers to intervene and, uh, and, and try to take action. Chief Williams says because of situations like this, his officers are officers 24-7. Reporting in Utica, Jen Selig, Eyewitness News. Coming up tonight here on Eyewitness News.